Right, today, uh, I'm going to be doing a set of like mermaidy kind of inspired ocean nails using the new Zodiac mermaid bubbles. I had to think about what they were called then from Crystal Parade. So yeah, um, I'm going to get straight into it because the video is about 15 minutes as it is. And with this on top, it's just going to make it really long. So let's just crack straight on. Okie dokie, so I am going to be using this foil today. Please don't ask me where it's from because I've bought so many foils over the years that I don't know where any of them are from. Probably somewhere like AliExpress. I'll tell you who does do a lot of foils, SPD London. You might be able to get it from them. Anyway, I don't know, but I'm going to snip off a little bit. This is the bit that I want. That is the bit. And it's just the right size to go over the nail. I've chosen a kind of lilac -y colour to go underneath just in case any bits don't transfer properly. I'm going to use Blissfully Yours. So I'm going to apply, I think I just do one coat. Pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. That's an LED lamp. And then I am today going to use the foil gel from SBD London. This is one of the best foiled gels that I've ever used. I think last time we used the Vetsy one and it didn't didn't do quite as well as this one. I mean, it wasn't bad, but this one is definitely up there with this. So this is my favourite foil glue gel, foil gel. So cure that in the lamp and then I'm going to use this silicone tool to rub the foil. So place it on and then I'm just going to use the silicone tool and I'm going to rub all over the nail making sure that every single part of that nail has been rubbed and there is hopefully foil completely covering the whole nail you want to make sure you get the side walls the free edge and the cuticle and the cuticle area because otherwise it'll look silly but anyway look pull it, pull it off pew, like that and look it's covered really well look at the foil there's like a tiny little bit tiny little bit left hang on show them now it's there in the top right hand corner can you see a tiny little bit there i mean other than that it's completely covered which is great i'm going to velvet matte top coat with madam glam's velvet matte top coat funnily enough and then you're gonna i don't know what's up with me today a little bit whew, i felt a bit sad this week but i feel a lot better today so that's great news pop that in the lamp that's probably why i've probably making up for it um right for this part we're going to use madam glam's white gel paint and we're gonna you know like sometimes when you look into an ocean and it's super clear and you can see the like they're not waves but the the way the light is uh oh i don't know i do know but i don't know i can't vocabulary i can't i can't communicate very well so i shall not but this is kind of like the reflection of the water is supposed to be and yeah so i'm gonna speed it up actually on my imac i'm gonna speed it up but i'm just doing some like s uh swirls sort of thing and then when this where the swirls meet i'm gonna add some like little curves and squiggles and i don't know how to describe it but you can see what i'm doing so i'll let you watch this bit and I do do two nails of this kind of design for this set. I do do two nails. And then once you've, once you've finished, you can pop it in your LED lamp for 60 seconds because it's gel paint and it's, it's more opaque and thicker than the gel polish. Okay. Moving on to the next nail, I am going to apply, this is Madame Glam's Perfect White. We're going to apply two coats of this to the nail and cure each coat for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to put, while that's curing, Angelic Sonata, Lily Scent and is it Eye Roll? Jesus Rolls. In, um, on, the, on a palette and then I'm going to Velvet Matte Top Coat this one. And I've put, oh, my mum rang me, so it cut off her. Huh? But what I'm doing is I'm just putting some, they're kind of like wave, wavy, thick, wavy lines on the nail. I'm going to speed it up again because it's a bit slow here. But 
we're gonna do we're gonna leave a gap we're gonna do three of each color leave a gap for some crystals and then three of each color and once you have finished this do not cure it leave it uncured that part is very important Then, this is the Nail Sugar Angel Dust. Um, I absolutely love this. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to be using this now instead of clear acrylic. Unless I, want, unless I don't want the shimmer. Because it's got like a kind of orangey shimmer to it. It's lovely. So basically, we're going to sugar the gel polish with that. Pop it in the lamp. And then brush off the excess. And I just love it. I'm obsessed with it at the moment. Look at it. It just makes it look so nice. It gives it a nice shimmer. And then the last nail that we're going to do is, by the way, if you want to know what I do on, an, on another nail, I'll just do a plain nail of colour. I don't know which colour, I'll let you choose, but that's what I do on the fifth nail. And maybe I'd add some crystals on it, but I didn't do that. Um, so we're going to do an ombre. I'm using Madame Glam's ombre brush. And as usual, I like to just flick the brush between the two colours and then before i go to the next blend down the bottom i usually just wipe off the color on the brush between um on a lint free wipe you'll see what i mean but these colors blend together see just like that and then i'm just going to work on the bottom bit these colors blend really nicely together it didn't take a lot of um it wasn't too time consuming basically and I will cure that in the lamp once it's done for 60 seconds. Oh, there was a hair. Before, yeah, don't don't cure it with the hairs in because that's just annoying. <laughs> and you want to do that twice. Two coats of that. Look at that. Look how nice they've blended. Oh, I love it. And then again, I'm going to top coat this with the velvet matte top coat. Do, 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 do. Elevator music. All right, now we're going to need the gel paint again in white. And we're going to draw on some scales. I'm going to make them quite big. They're quite big scales. I think the bigger they are, the quicker it is to add them, obviously. Because if they're smaller, you're going to have to concentrate more. And yeah, you're going to have to be more careful. And there's you're going to have to put more on the nail. So it's going to take you a lot longer. So I'm making mine quite big. And just imagine like a draping curtain. That's kind of like what I'm doing. So that's the first ones. And then this one's going to start from the center of the first one that we've done and then go to the center of the second one. You know, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. And then this one is obviously going to go from the middle to the other one, to the other side, sorry. And then you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way down. Try and make it, make sure it keeps nice and neat. <coughs> You want them to all be the same size, but yeah, right, we're going to carry on all the way down to the bottom of the nail, and I have cured this for 60 seconds. Then what I'm going to do is only on a few scales, and only on the scales that have solid colour. You don't want to do this on any of the scales that have an ombre on them, but you're just going to fill in whatever colour is underneath. You're going to fill that in with the colour on top. Don't cure it. You're gonna you're gonna sugar that as well. Oh my gosh, sugar! I've done loads of sugaring this week. I'll I'll have to try and do something else next week because you're all gonna be bored of sugaring. <laughs> and I also decided I need to do something matte. But we're gonna yeah we go look sugar it on and then cure it. And you're gonna do that on about three or four scales down the entire nail. See so, you know, look, it just uh, yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna do it on on another two or three, and then I shall wipe off the. What's this? The angel dust. And it just gives the nail a little bit of texture. And yeah, just, you know, there we go. And then we are going to add some crystals. Mad, not Madam Glam. Crystal Parade have just released these Bur Burbade. But 
mermaid bubbles. I'm going to use the blue ones and the purpley ones. And I'm also going to be using these are Preciosa Alexandrite, I think, and the Crystal Fix from Rachel Wilders, which you can get from Crystal Parade. And this nail art wheel, I'm going to use some of the shells. This was from Nail Sugar, but they don't sell them anymore, unfortunately. <gasps> the Bur Bur Burbade, the Mermaid Bubbles and the Precious Crystals and the Crystal Fix, you can get from Crystal Parade. And you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. Um, but look, I've just put some Crystal Fix in the gap where we missed the gel polish on this nail. And I'm alternating between the bubbles and the crystals. I'll pop that in the lamp. I do add some caviar beads on this later on. This one, I'm going to put like a some gem glue in this sort of corner. And then we're going to do a little bit of a cluster. Um, I don't know if I said at the beginning, but you can save 30% off Madame Glam as well using code NATMUG30. And 10% off Nail Sugar using my code NATMUG10. Lots of codes, lots of codes. I'm adding some of these uh, shells to this as well. I love the. I, if I'd have had silver shells, I would have had. It, I would have added silver, I think. But I feel like the gold ones give it just a nice. Just I don't know. I like the gold as well. It's very nice. Very nice. I love the starfishes. They're so cute. There we go. So the gem uh, crystal fix needs sixty seconds in an LED lamp. So. I shall cure those properly and then this is them finished i hope you liked this set if you did please leave me a like if you haven't do consider subscribing it is completely free uh, websites and discount codes will be below i think that's it have an amazing weekend god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one monday yay love you all bye